What's up Jones Bones? It is your girl United Lee Random and today I'm coming at you with a cute little blouse on. I thought you guys would like it, you know, considering. Anyway, I don't know what day it is because I haven't really been keeping up with the days. I haven't really been taking care of myself as I should be and that is evident by like the pimple that popped up right here, the pimple that popped up right here, pimple right here. Like my face is just like, I don't know, breaking off. Out. and um another thing is y'all don't usually see me with hair like this um why because first of all I don't want to get too comfortable with wearing hair like this because I think natural is not all well natural is not always best but it's like best for me low maintenance um but when it gets to be winter your girl will throw on a wig real quick so she doesn't have to put on a scully okay um i will throw on a wig so quick you will see you will like if like yes yes this is serving what it was supposed to serve this is ant auntie bob okay i bought another bob today if you guys are interested in like my wigs i can show them all in a video i don't think you guys are going to be interested in that but you know what i'm going to show them in a video anyway because it's like a whole new world of me okay a little bobby bob a <laughs> little bobby bob bob <laughs> ain't never hurt nobody anyway so i'm gonna go ahead and wash my face and so to do that i'm just gonna have to you know pull this back and uh you gonna have to watch that intro and uh, i'll see you after the intro it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up and we are back i went ahead and pulled the wig back from my face like i could have went ahead and took it off but y'all ain't ready to see what's underneath this it's honestly the same thing that's been underneath it all these other days but like i didn't want to do it to you today um i don't know if i already pointed this out but once i run out of the miracle elixir i think i'm going to switch over to hawaiian face cleanser i used this a lot when i was in korea and i love the like i it just this alone just made my skin like ooh. But um, let's go ahead and start washing my face. I need to start doing it every single day. I just stopped. I don't know why I stopped. I was gonna wet my glasses again, y'all. I don't know why I stopped, I just did. So today has been an interesting day. I already had something that I wanted to talk to you guys about, but I forgot it because when I got home, the next door neighbor, well, the behind the door neighbor's house, was up in flames now i'm just kidding um we do not wish that on anyone but my house was smoky smoky af so we had to go to the next door neighbor and be like hey girl you burned some chicken or something um because the smoke was coming through near the bathroom now my next door neighbor was like no i'm good like nothing's burning so it turns out uh after five ambulances five 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 fire trucks five fire trucks had arrived and the people behind me she caught her sink on fire and i'm like girl how you do that so i already got a story with how she caught her sink on fire okay bear with me okay i have a imagination of an imagination but i feel like homegirl just got broken up with or she broke up with somebody okay and you know what you do when you break up with someone you burn images of you guys together like forget this person i can't believe we broke up okay i'm cutting you out of my life for good okay and um oh i got soap in my eye and uh that's what i think happened okay and the, you know what the the people didn't tell me anything else except she was purposely burning something in the sink now i don't know about y'all but if you burning something in the sink in the upstairs sink okay because there's a downstairs sink too the kitchen sink she was in the upstairs sink you know burning things so if you burning something in the sink purposely like what you burning she, i think she was like i hate him and then burned the picture okay so y'all let me know down below what y'all think she was setting on fire but uh uh luckily it didn't set the house on fire over here okay but it was smoky for a little while i did a tiktok and tiktok was like mm -mm, that is too raunchy violating all types of codes so i'm thinking about posting it on youtube but then will youtube say it's too raunchy you know i think you guys will enjoy it though and like you know i think it's a part of the goal to try to get on the shorts 
And it's not too bad because like I literally wore the black, it's in me in the black jumpsuit and I'm just dancing to a Beyonce song. So it's like, cause you got a good face and a body and a booty so fat, go girl. And so I was like, okay. And in the comments I said, I don't have no booty, which I don't have a booty. I just got something back there, but it ain't a booty. Okay, not for black girls, okay. I'm sorry to play into that stereotype book. Us black women are known for our booties and compared to that, I don't have no booty. But like, if you were to compare me to like, uh, uh, like any skinny girl, I have a booty, but not like a plus size, but donk a donk, okay? And I just feel like the universe knew what it was doing when it created me. Cause if I had the body that I want out the start, mm, mm, y'all wouldn't be able to tell me nothing, okay? <laughs> if I had the body that I want. Now, I have brought this up a couple times. Like I'm gonna get some money and I'm gonna get the body that I want. And I know, I know y'all like, oh my goodness, Aaliyah, you're perfect just the way you are. And it's like, it's not because like I'm insecure because like society's like, you gotta have a big butt. It's I want hips, <laughs> you know? It's, it's not like, I feel like, oh my goodness, I'm not beautiful because of society. It's just, I find I personally find hips to be very attractive. It's the most attractive thing you can put on a woman. Hips. Woo. And I know some women don't have hips. And then you got to make up for it for your personality. Okay? You know, you got to have a really good personality. You don't have hips. You can have hips and no personality. And then that's like an A plus. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but am I? <laughs> um, but I don't have no hips. And, like, I got a lot of personality. But, like... Would I date me? Oh my gosh. Wait, pause for a minute. Stir, are you taking a boo boo? No. Cause I smell some boo boo. You must be smelling your upper lip or something, cause that ain't me. Stuart be trying me, okay? Y'all, y'all were okay, a couple weeks ago or so. I might have said something that I'm not going to repeat here. But if y'all was in that video, y'all saw what I said. Because Stuart was playing with me, making up all that noise. And I turned around and I said some things to him. Okay, y'all y'all only see it from one point of view. Now, before we even got married, this man had already told me about how he's plotting. Okay, he was like, one day I'm going to have enough of you. And I'm going to chop your... Ooh, let me stop. Let me stop, because, you know, I don't want YouTube to get mad at me. Oh, my face kind of feel kind of naked. I got some makeup today. Mm -hmm. I got some makeup. I was like, I'm going to step into my divine feminine, okay? You know, like, I always feel like, oh, my gosh, I'm not girly enough. Got my nails done. Got a little wig on, you know? Like, life is too short to be walking around feeling like a man all the time. Dang, you know? And, like, also... I like my boobs. Like, I go through periods of not liking my boobs, but at the end of the day, I like my boobs, okay? You know, they're nice. They're nice, okay? Like, if I was given the chance, would they be smaller? Yeah, they would be smaller. I could do a lot more if they were smaller. YouTube wouldn't be like, oh my gosh, you showing a little bit too much cleavage. Excuse me, YouTube. My cleavage is 18 inches long. So, you're not even getting half of it. This right here, that's about five inches of cleavage right there. But you know what? I still got about ten, eight more inches to go, okay? So, I just don't want people to see me as a sexual object unless I am putting myself there to be a sexual object. Like right now, like I can't really see myself and that's even better. Cause when you can't even see yourself, you'll be like, oh yeah, you looking good. The only problem that I have with this top, which I don't have any problems with this top. I like to throw it off the shoulder and stuff like that. You know, give it, give it a little boom. Stuart loved to see me in this top, by the way. You know, his favorite color is purple. But, you know, green's the best color anyway, so gang, gang. Um, and if you don't like green, the door is over there. Okay. You don't have to have green as your favorite color, but you can't hate green over here. You can't be a Jones Moans and hate green. Every
every single one of my like thumbnails has the color green in it. Why? Because it's the best color in the world, okay? Period, poo. Go out and touch some greens. They tell you to eat greens, okay? Eat greens, touch greens, and live that green life, okay? Save the planet and all that. But anyway, let me go ahead and put this cream on my face so I can get going. I'm thinking about starting to do this every day from now on. Y'all know, uh, well, y'all don't know because I haven't been talking to y'all. But, um... Me and Stu's anniversary was October the 30th. I don't, I think this is going to come off, come out after that. But, um, I'm off for the entire week. Why? I just asked for the time off. I was like, you know what? I'm tired of working and I'm, I'm looking forward. What am I going to do this week? Going to clean up the house. Going to edit some videos. Going to make some videos. I'm going, I'm going to be productive. Okay. Cause I've been, I've been trying to see you. I've been trying to see, Aaliyah, if you quit your job, will you be productive or you just sit around? And I don't think I'll sit around and just do nothing, but you know, you know, this is my test run. So I, I got to be productive. So uh, Stu will let me quit my job, even though Stu is going to let me quit my job regardless. He like, oh my goodness, girl, if you like, like if I, if you quit your job, will you stop complaining about your job? And I'm just like, yeah. Actually, I don't really complain about my job. The th problem with complaining about your job is I feel like it gives off an air of y'all ain't tell me my wig was falling back. Y'all, why y'all do me like that? I'm just coming in, trying to be your friend, trying to talk to you, trying to be cool with you, and y'all gonna watch my wig start going off my head. Y'all ain't say nothing. Disrespectful. Disrespectful. How y'all not gonna say anything about my wig? Don't be trying to go to the comments now and be like, girl, your wig falling off. I already know. You only saying something because I said something first. But it's okay. It's cool. It's cool. Y'all, one day you're going to have a boogie in your nose. And I'm not going to tell you to check it. I'm not going to tell you to blow your nose either. Mm-hmm. I might even not even say bless you when you sneeze. You're going to be watching my videos. And I won't say bless you when you sneeze. Why? Because you let my wig go like that. We at the end of the video anyway. So I just want to go ahead and send some positive vibes your way. Make sure y'all not burning anything in y'all sinks, okay? Especially if you live in an apartment and you don't know what your sink is made out of. You know, that's dangerous. No, no, no. Um, and much love and positive vibes. Oh, before we go. Go ahead and make sure you check out my TikTok because I be I be posting some interesting things. I think y'all would like it on my tickety tack. But um, much love and positive vibes. And I hope to see you guys again next time. Like, subscribe if you want to. And um, that's it. <laughs>